Looking at a dollhouse prop, one of the things we can do with it is actually teach the students how to identify the, the fire room location. So looking at this, could you identify that the fire room was actually on the bottom left side? Uh, we're able to do a lot of different useful demonstrations with a dollhouse prop. This one's metal. So we're able to do, uh, like for instance, wind driven fires. So we have a vent opening out front, smoke conditions dramatically change when the wind pushes in. And that was natural ventilation through that opening. We're also able to demonstrate flashover conditions, a single vent opening, multi-vent openings. We're able to demonstrate a lot of things that we teach in classroom, uh, but maybe aren't necessarily able to observe or even just play with different uh, ventilation openings to see how it affects the fire. So one of the things we specifically like to do is show a uh, single direction or bi-directional uh, flow path um, within a single opening showing that neutral plane. Uh, you can demonstrate this pretty well with this type of prop. Uh, another thing we like to do is demonstrate the flammability of the smoke itself that, you know, the, the smoke is fuel and it's just waiting for its ignition source. In the next video, what we're going to show is one of those bi-directional air flows where we have the hot gases coming out the top and on that bottom plane you can see right below that nu neutral plane that it's 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 an intake so we have an intake and exhaust at the same same level um the same opening this is a good way for us to demonstrate flow paths and buoyancy specifically how that's going to affect uh our firefighters in a live fire or a different setup um so we allowed this one to flash and kind of just uh trace up that that raceway there there was nothing in there except for smoke um, so here's another excellent one where you can really see uh, the flammability we're able to demonstrate you could see that good neutral plane and once again there's no fuel in here except for the smoke that's uh, kind of dancing around in there and so we're going to go ahead and slow that down show it to you a little bit more uh, this is just that that uh, smoke at that perfect fuel mixture to maintain combustion within that compartment. Uh, and so we were able to do that and repeat that several times. There are several things that will affect the fire conditions of this box. One of the things that can happen is if you do have wind, you can see we have a little bit of wind pushing. That has a dramatic influence depending on where your openings are and your, your wind is facing, but that can be another great teaching tool. So we have this exterior vent open on the rear of the dollhouse prop and you can see there's really nothing pushing out the front so what we ended up with is actually a smoke explosion uh, with this prop when we opened it up uh, it gave it just that perfect mixture and it was a vent limited fire up until that point